Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Z and Z. Uh, we are playing more Major on Mine. No, it's actually called Major Minor. I don't know why it's become part of my vernacular now. <laughs> I'm Zach Gray, also known as the Booze Wolf. Joining me in uh, from across the country is Zumaga Shiny Jetter. And then to our north is Oh, is it me now? Am I north? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Hi. My name's Caustic. I'm in graduate school. Do you want to keep going? Like social security? <laughs> Credit card numbers? I... Come on, man! My, so my social security number is four. <laughs> and last but certainly not least is my lovely wife, Luz de Luna. I was about to ask, why was I last? Ah. Uh, anyway, we're playing for major <laughs> mine. Wow, honey! <laughs> Actually, the original four. reason whether I'll keep this or not, because I don't know if it'll be funny, is because of Z and Z. So Shiny came first, and I figured we were already there, and then I could come back to you. Okay. You can make me last when you introduce if you want. Anyway. Oh. I'll just make you come last. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'll be right over. <laughs> <laughs> you almost made him spit out his booze. Almost is a bit strong, honey. <laughs> Did it almost go out your nose? Uh, mm, that was mostly tequila on the top, too, so... That sinus is gonna feel great. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's love. not your fault, Cossack. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's Cossack's line. Oh, is it my line? Right. I'm so I, I'm so loopy right now. <laughs> I'm so stoned. Whoa! Oh, that was pretty heavy. Whoa! That Fukumoto's a dick. God oh, damn it! I'm so close to the game. Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> Whoa, those breasts were pretty <laughs> heavy. <laughs> I knew I had something better in there. <laughs> I had something in the tank, just let me check. <laughs> uh, oh, damn it, foam fell off. Okay, good. I've heard of Armstrong Incorporated before. <laughs> That's right, I read but newspapers, what of it? <laughs> But this is my first time hearing about its owner, Breasts. I never would have thought that it was her. Those them titties are weapons of mass destruction. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to talk to her about it if I see her. Depressed. So, um, oh, madam, yeah. pardon, a, a moment. Keep doing this. A moment. Those boobs, though. But, like, those boobs. <laughs> I'll have to talk to her breath about when if I see her. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh. She did express interest at getting to know me better. That was called politeness. Also, in fairness, you were both walking on your hands and, <laughs> and trying to shake feet. So, you know, kindred spirits and all. Are yeah. we still doing that? I don't That's know. Cool. I'm surprised I remembered that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we built on such a better lore for this game, but we also forgot it. Oh, God. I don't know. It's coming uh, back pretty well. Let me drink some more tequila. Yeah, good idea. I see that Akrod is on his way back. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully now we get to meet with Singe. Oh, I was really oh, hoping no. you'd be walking with Singe here, Shiny do Singe's voice and Luna do Atron's voice. I was dying to hear an official statement about this. Hey, me too, man. <laughs> I await our next move as I walk towards my friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, was, what was that F word? E yeah, used? easy with the F word, all right? This is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, good, you're back. Hey! Oh, man. It's like an angry goat. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for staying put, you two. Oh, it's better when you're, you're not facing my. <laughs> Pizza. Back. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna get these. We can't reference shows that are more popular than us all the time. I mean, there's a very high likelihood they get those references. That yes, I get that there's us. a lot of shows more popular than ours. Cost. Think you have to rub it in anyway. 
<laughs> the conference won't start for a while. Yeah. That's all right. Now I'm getting my grammar Nazi mode and on drink three. So we can go and pass some time. Yes. Hmm. Upstairs. Is is Acorn trying to fuck us? Yes. <laughs> God, I hope so. Friends in this place must be expensive. Let me show you how Akron pays the bills. <laughs> Start doing striptease. <laughs> wow. Dinge <laughs> pockets go pretty deep. It seems. But not as not as deep as his piles of cocaine. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> you're like <laughs> you're like a horse that gave up on winning. Can we get that one more time? That was great. <laughs> that was amazing, honey. Boom! Bum bum bum! That was amazing. You did it the one time. Yeah, that's true. Like, can someone clip that? Like, make a remix out of it. <laughs> I guess we should go! <clears throat> Those people outside are really loud! <laughs> they keep God screaming! Damn Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. But I want to hear yours. I keep talking over people. I feel bad. <laughs> I kind of feel bad too, because I think I do that same thing too sometimes. Anyway, I was just going to blame it on the immigrants. Ah, see, I was going to they keep screaming about some sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems flustered. I can't hit your high notes, by the way. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, it's just a terrible impression of your impression of all of this. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Read your line, please, because I imagine this is going to be fun with a sniper bullet hitting him right between the eyes. A headache is the <laughs> Man, that's the last thing he wanted. <laughs> we lost Keela! <laughs> it should, and I repeat, should be more quiet if you don't open your mouths upstairs! You took me away from all these journey. <laughs> Away from all these commoners. <laughs> well, her voice started with a granny, and then she started going to some sort of like foghorn leghorns. Like, I say, I say, I say it, this, and then just went to a scolding grandmother. It was amazing. He starts, he starts waltzing towards the stairs. Like, literally. He a... falls up. And just waltzing. He falls <laughs> up them. <laughs> <laughs> Keela and I, which is what it should be, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Keela and Kalesu. I will follow. <coughs> yeah, Keela will follow any <laughs> strapping dude up the stairs without question. It's Keela. Seriously. <laughs> I guess it was almost instinctual. <laughs> All right, Clay. Fine. You know what? There, there's another point for you. I forgot we have counters in this. So that's gonna be fun to look through again. <laughs> but you know, uh, man, oh dude, future Zach, I feel so bad for bringing this back into your life. But yeah, that's that's good. This is the second time that you got us. That was that was good. You know, it's just walking upstairs. I'm gonna get some booty. I'm gonna get some booty. <laughs> if he was our protection, we need to stay close. No, I have our protection for protection. <laughs> oh, oh, good. The new. The new condom. <laughs> Good, the Armstrong line new condom. <laughs> Actually, considering what we made up about Kila, that's probably a good idea. That's a fair point. And that's what we did as we ascended the stairs. That was a pointless sentence! We leave the frenzy of the media behind us. <laughs> that was another pointless sentence! But unfortunately, uh -huh. Not for good. Those actually have some Wait. amount of use. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. No. No, uh. it doesn't. It actually doesn't. 
because our okay that line uh, that line implies that the media is going to be bothering us in the future <laughs> like as is a known fact our main character like the whole context of this game is that things are happening as they happen around the main character that's true so yeah it, it doesn't work that's actually very true. You just completely changed the tense of the storytelling telling narrative. Exactly. Thank you. That's a better way to say it. Yeah. Also, guys, I wanted to key you in on an important part of this scene. This entire room, the carpet, the walls mm. are actually brown. What? what? Yeah, so that's all brown. But you see, well... Uh, oh. Singe's cocaine gets places. <laughs> and... Uh, Ah, uh, uh, drew you guys in. I took you on a journey. Twitch, 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 twitch. <laughs> and Shiny is going was... to punch me so many times next time I meet. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's a given. But yeah. anyway, it was quieter up here. Just like Akron had hope. <sighs> he presses his butt against the wall and watches. Ain't no one get my booty. <laughs> Protect my, my own. <laughs> my booty is fine and no one else's. <laughs> you can have my booty, boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Boo Docs is a good show. Yeah, for, you know what? Since we all know that, I'm just gonna. Future Zach, clip, go. Now, calm down, calm down. Now we are taking over the prison, so back up, back up, back up. Back up. You can have my booty! Thank you. I don't right. know if you can, but okay. I, I, I fucking just did. Oh, oh, okay. What's got, what's YouTube gonna do? Demonetize me? <laughs> I'm working for Twitch, uh... motherfucker. <laughs> then he scouts around, looking from left to right. I yes, could've... good security job. <laughs> I could have sworn I left the sniper around here somewhere. <laughs> I could have sworn this room was brown. <laughs> He definitely has a good vantage point from that angle of the room right the there. The sniper? <laughs> what what angle in this box-shaped room is a bad angle, Clace? I don't think Clace knows how angles work. I suppose if he's trying to survey the room from under the couch, <laughs> that would be a bad angle, yes. No, no, no. That's actually the best angle. Sneak attack. Oh. <laughs> Gila leaves my side as well and tries to find a seat. Unfortunately. All the seats are taken by these invisible people. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Try to find a seat. What do you mean try? What? Arrows. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, his nat one in perception makes him believe that we are in some sort of brown room. <laughs> Eventually, he situates himself in a nice leather chair. I see a lot of familiar faces around this room. Don't you dare. Is Don't that, you yeah, dare. Is that a Tears for Fears <laughs> cut? <laughs> it might be. Oh no! Oh, oh god! Oh I no! These two. Oh Rook no! Rook is using his tablet, oh, and Inumi is pacing around. I'm so what is Inumi? I'm horny and I'm upset. I'm horny and I'm upset. I'm horny and I'm upset. <laughs> you know what, Chunny? You answered my question. I was gonna say, what was Inumi's voice? But there you go. Actually, I think we kept switching off a newbie, like we did frequently. I think a newbie was going between all four of us, and I'm the only one that hasn't done a newbie's voice yet. Do you want to talk to yourself? You have a new... Sorry, what was that? You have a newbie when he pops. I was about to say you have a newbie when he pops up. Then there you go. Oh God, why did I speak but up? That... <laughs> <laughs> I'm already coughing my lungs some... out. Don't make me do that. Oh well. But then I see some not so familiar faces. Although, I feel like I recognize them from TV. Like, like maybe they are uh, uh, Matt Doyle, maybe? Matt <laughs> it, Doyle? It's another reporter, Fukumoto. 
Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the major minor roll call! <laughs> it's almost like everybody important to Clace was here. Gee, it's, it's almost, almost like, like he, he just... died! <laughs> you mean you son of a bitch? He's dead, I tell you, he's dead! <laughs> Maybe they were just as clueless as I was about this. Wow, that's that's assuming a lot, <laughs> my girl. That's assuming <laughs> quite a bit. I guess I wasn't the only one who wanted some answers. And you think Singe has the answers? <laughs> the answer is cocaine. <laughs> it's always been cocaine. <laughs> It isn't long before Rook looks up from his tablet. He proceeds to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's just a newbie's outstretched butthole. Why do you always do this, newbie? Why do you take my tablet and take these pictures? <laughs> what? Now let's see if what I can remember of... a Rook voice. This is the reason I do cocaine. Oh wait, it's Rook. There, my thought was in. It's even better that he does it to Rook. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. He notices me and starts to walk in my direction. Hey, look at this. Vomit trailing down his front. <laughs> he has not stopped <laughs> vomiting. I wonder how he is handling all of this. His vomit trails down. Just click. Whoa, walks over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh god, it's like rejected. <clears throat> oh god. You remember the Rook's voice? Nope! Yeah. Gonna figure it out though! Alright. It was a dude voice. I'm aware it was dude a dude voice. voice, that's as far as I got. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> thanks for that hint. <laughs> hey, awesome. There it is. Deeper. Nice to see you made it. Make it deeper. <clears throat> I'm assuming that you new guy is Acron. There you go. Bad. The last guard ran off. There you go, you got the deepness. <laughs> ran off? Oh. What does he mean by that? Probably with his feet. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe. Anyway, no beating around the bush. That's Jade's job. I think you beat <laughs> around the max. <laughs> <laughs> Need a forest service person for that. You're here, so you must know the truth now. Last night... Hey, yep. Place was murdered. Ba -ba -bum. <laughs> he says it in such an emotionless <laughs> way. Half the room I did say it emotionlessly. <laughs> which, which, to the person who is giving Luna Luna some shit for her choice in a very slow voice for, for this, apparently Luna fucking nailed it. So, high five. <laughs> I did half the, the room thing. breaks down in tears. The other half just gets an immediate erection. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to... T it's hard. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of crying, I tell him that I did know the truth. So what you did, in essence, was lie. <laughs> I lied. I saw Fucky Moto reporting live on TV. Yeah, I know the midnight. truth that Armstrong person is in and they have nukes. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. What? Did Clay's die from Nuke? <laughs> why was it, this is why Nukes need protection. His, fi his, his farewell tour was really going to be a farewell tour. Apparently. <laughs> oh, that guy. Yeah, I hate that guy. This is Fukumoto here. I hate you too, Rook. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of like the Scooby. Do you, you guys both watched a pup named Scooby Doo, right? You all did. Mark. Yeah. You remember there's yeah. one yeah. where they're investigating the Commander Cool Toy Company, and there's a bit where the the woman's like, "I hate that guy at the other toy. Co He's always spying on me." Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, it's me. I never spy on you. Hangs up phone. <laughs> and they both do that to each what? other. It's actually really well done. <laughs> 
He hates me. And he's always spying on me, trying to steal my toy ideas. Hello? Hello? I never spy on you! Bird! I was ruined because she spied on me and put you out first! Hello? That's a lie! I never spy on you! Yeah. Anyway, sorry. What? Yeah, it, it's... Yeah, yeah it's, it's a random thing. Puppy Scooby-Doo is really good. Yes. But man, the animation budget was apparently shit because there's so many problems. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, they cut... Well, they cut it in half in the second season. Uh -huh. Yep. He stretches Damn. the truth. Almost. Right, it goes back to Numi's asshole, sort of like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. What? 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 Read your line, please. I I don't have anything on this. You like red? <laughs> You're a communist. Oh, he's talking no, about how he's Fuku acting. Yeah. How Fukumoto stretches the truth. Got it. I have no idea how he got that job. By precisely what you just said, that draws in ratings. <laughs> Ring, ring, ring. Hi, Rook. This is Fukumoto. I got the job from the same stretch marks that are still in my ass. Bye. <laughs> Click. <laughs> he twists words like the tabloids. And my nipples. <laughs> oh, you know they fuck, right? <laughs> like that boy and Rook, they fuck. They hate each other, but they also fuck each other. Right. It's, it's that good, good hate fuck. Exactly. Mm. It's like it's like Orange is the New Black or Burmy Fox and it, Wolves. Exactly. <laughs> Surprise. He works for a real station with real people. With real people and real doors. And real real doors. bullshit. And real suicides. And real... Why are we talking about this? Mm-mm. That's true. Oh, I did see his interview with Max. You mean the savior of Japan who's going to stop the midnight murders? <laughs> <laughs> I let Rook know that he tried to interview me as well. He mentioned that this was all a publicity stunt. Yo. Of course, he'd mention that. Listen. <laughs> Sorry, I like the idea of Rook actually saying, listen, going quiet for a moment, just letting a soft one rip. <laughs> I'm seven, shut up. Don't take him seriously. Is fake news. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you learn that pretty quickly Ugh, in Tokyo. I, I like what you did there, but I don't know why you did it. <laughs> quickly. <laughs> but the general population loves him. You know. It's, Go ahead. It's the fedora. <laughs> You know, <laughs> salt of the earth. Morons. I see a guy that wears a fedora around here at my college campus. Do you kick him in the yeah. dick every time you see him? <laughs> well, I was gonna say, I'm so tempted to just, like, take the hat and throw it. Cool. Or, instead, what you could do is run up and kick him in the dick. Honestly. <laughs> I'm not able to see why. <laughs> why does this cocaine smell like shit? This whole <laughs> room is made of cocaine. How are you so fucking lax? <laughs> He's just a sham. <laughs> Billy Mays here. <laughs> a sensationalist. I'd like to point out for our viewers that the joke was Billy Mays used to advertise sham wow, not that I thought Billy Mays was a sham. God rest his immortal soul. <laughs> no, sham wow was, some, was the uh, guy who replaced Billy Mays. 
Yeah, that's actually right. It's the guy that beat up the hooker. Yep. No, Billy Mays also did ShamWow. Wait. No, Not unless it like first came out. Clean. He did OxyClean. Oh fuck! You're right. It was OxyClean. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Sham wow, you mean sham pow. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> it was harshly worded, but had some wisdom. What is this, a conversation with my dad? <laughs> damn, getting dark. <laughs> I got daddy issues. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love how you say, after I say the word singe, you said daddy issues. <laughs> singe is cocaine daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Give me snorties. Give me snorties, cocaine daddy. Singe is just getting ready. He shouldn't be much longer. Singe is just getting ready. Cuts over to the Singe in his office and a whole bunch of other people around him just going, go, go. And he has a fucking uh, dollar bill rolled up and there's just a 10 foot line of cocaine. He's just running around the floor decks with like a goddamn Roomba with a purpose. Okay, okay, I understand what's going on right now. See, I took Clay's body, I burned it. Oh no! Therefore, he's now nothing but ash. I've oh, mixed no. it with my cocaine stash, I've snorted it, I have gained Clay's powers. I Clay, was... remind me, are you from Florida? Yes. You are and... from Florida, that's right. Or England, because Keith Richards theoretically did that with his father. Wait, what? There's a, I don't know if it's true or not. I've actually never researched all the way. There's a theory that Keith Richards took some of his father's ashes and snorted them. My it's God. Not... But it's Keith Richards, so it doesn't seem that unlikely. You said you read all this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry. Maybe you should get to know. What? Talk to people? No, I'm good. <laughs> 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 I hope it gives you the option to that. <laughs> I hope so too. Meet Every- everyone or ignore them. <laughs> Fuck that shit, I'm out. <laughs> everyone but myself is still shocked, of course. Oh, wait, I thought sh- Shocker's here too? <laughs> Probably, actually. Give me a mo. Actually, read your line so I can make a comment on this. But some friendship might help them. And how do you think that conversation is going to go, Rook? How do you think, <laughs> hi, I'm so sorry that your friend, son, brother, child, what bandmate, whatever, is dead, and now your livelihoods and lives are forever changed and ruined. By the way, I'm the person who won a contest to come here for free and just fucking mooch off the dude. By the way, isn't that so shitty that I no longer get a free ride to Japan? Doesn't that suck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great combo. Wasn't Clay so inconsiderate by leaving me with the bill? How dare he be murdered? <laughs> Suicided, whatever. I swear to God, if I find him, I'll kill him. Mm-hmm. Nighting is what we need to do right now. Meanwhile, the sniper sees all of us in one room and is like, if, man, you know, when the dude said I could get a free grenade launcher with a sniper rifle, I was like, nah, I won't need it. Man, was I dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Rook turns his head and notices someone approaching. Vomit flies out of his nose. Oh, fuck, it is sho- Rocker or Shocker, I can't remember. <laughs> it, it, it's a fox with a guitar and he steps with purpose. Wait, no, it's Pepper Coyote and Fox and more fusion. You mean their baby. You mean their bastard love child. <laughs> well, considering the last pick I saw of those two was like Pepper oh, yeah. him some paws. No, no, no. This, th- this is the fair. episode when you get to this act. This is the name of the episode right here. The Pepper Coyote Fo- uh, Fox and More Fan Fiction Son. That is what is happening. <laughs> that is that is that is the part of the, the goddamn uh, lore we are bringing to this world. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, that bastard probably would be really good at music. He'd be like a triple threat. Mm-hmm. Music, singing, and paws. And cocaine. Yeah, paws. <laughs> cocaine. I mean, that's super important in the music world. <laughs> I guess rocker is fine.
He's um, a knowledgeable. Was he the British one or was he the Tommy Chong sounding motherfucker? Uh, British one. Cool. Yeah, British one for sure is he. Well, on that note, actually, I'm probably going to stop this episode now that we got Homeboy coming up. And then we'll do... Uh, you guys good for one more tonight at least? And then we'll, we can... We can yeah. Call. Yeah, I'm good yeah, for one yeah, or two I more. Yeah. All right, you thank know, I can do another, I guess. <laughs> your, 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 your microphone is suddenly <laughs> sinking back into, your, into somewhere else. Into oh, another damn dimension. It. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think I should just tape this to my cheek. I mean, that's an option that I wouldn't take. Thank you guys for coming out to another episode of Major Minor on Z and Z. We'll be back with some more in just a bit, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye bye. My microphone's in my mouth. My microphone phone is in my nose. I didn't mean to tape it to your mouth. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what was his? Wait, you... a compliment from Rook. Yeah, it's that sort. It's that sort of like fake American douchebag British accent. Okay, I can do this. <laughs>